All right, gang, back for another video. This time we're in 1.18 again. This is our base. My friend and I are sharing a base this time. I believe that was his idea. This is the entrance that I built. The original entrance was up on the mountain over here, but uh, I decided to change that. It was over here. If you'll notice all this snow, and what I believe is powdered snow, not exactly a safe place to be if you're possibly going to be switching to survival, but we're in creative right now. If we were to switch to survival, however, yeah, the possible powdered snow area might become a problem, so I decided to change the entrance to over here. Kind of basic, I know, but I didn't feel like doing anything more complex. It gets more interesting inside, though, see? And down here, a little more interesting in this tunnel here, see? Neat little ceiling arrangement. Follows down the hallway. And down this way. Shoot. Okay, I'm in. Can't get up or down without these. Can't get up or down without these bubble elevators. This one will take us to the top. Now if we go in, you'll notice this sudden shock of color in here. My friend built this room. He had me help choose the colors though. There's our dog. I have no idea if it has a name or not, but I know that's our dog. There's what's supposed to be my bed. And his. And of course, I built the nether portal room, if I can recall correctly. But look at this! There is currently nothing of note over here. Just a crimson forest of some sort, possibly possible crimson forest, but uh, aside from that, nothing really of note in this area. So yeah, we are going to leave the nether and continue with our base talk, shall we? Now, let's make sure that piglin didn't follow us. Looks like we're good. Piglin didn't follow us. Now, I don't know why he put shulker boxes here. But, as you can probably see, they are very clearly shulker boxes, and I have no idea why those are there. But, we are going down. This is another bubble elevator going to another section, which I built myself. I built this section myself. Another lantern. Now I will say one thing, one thing I like to do is go on the internet and look for inspiration. You know, find cool builds to take some inspiration from, maybe build something similar. Well, that's what I did here, folks. 
I found a cool build on the internet, and I took inspiration from the cool build and built something similar. Now, I figure I'll give a shout out to the guy who came up with the original idea, but while this isn't my idea, this is my version of the idea. So, shout out to whoever came up with the original idea. This is my version of their idea. I found their idea cool enough that I thought maybe I'd build my own version of it. You know? So, shout out to whoever came up with the original idea. Shout out to whoever came up with the original idea. This is my version of it. Now, for starters, let's show off, for starters, my bedroom. Look at this, folks. Neat little setup here, complete with a nice little painting. Add a little bit of something to this wall here, right? Even a neat little chandelier I made using the lanterns like the light bulbs here. I figure that's a little clever. Neat little flower arrangement. There's even a table in the corner here. Now, let's go check out the other bedroom, which is a carbon copy of my bedroom. A carbon copy of my bedroom. See? Exact same bedroom, just a different bed. Right down to the chandelier. Only difference is the bed. Only difference is the bed. So, now I do have a bunch of storage areas here because, you know, I had extra space. So, neat little storage area with barrels and, of course, the banners, right? Oh, oh and don't forget the lanterns. Those lanterns are handy. Barrels, banners, lanterns. Barrels, banners, lanterns, and then the uh, stairs for the trim up here. And of course the lantern up here for a little more light. They all look the same, so I don't need to show you every storage area. But what I will do is next show you the enchanting room. Now this is a neat little setup, got shelves, complete with some lanterns, and of course the anvil. Everyone knows what an anvil is, I would hope. Everyone knows what an anvil is, I would hope. And then of course I got this, the enchanting area, see? Enchanting table, bunch of bookshelves, neat little setup. Now, next up is the crafting area over here. So now there are more shelves in the corners here, 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 and here. And of course, there are additional shelves here, here, and over here. But these three have stuff in them. Like a bunch of, I think these are blast furnaces, some stone cutters, crafting table, cartography table, a loom of sorts, a loom of sorts over here. Of course, the furnaces and what I believe are smokers over here. So you got everything you'd want in a crafting area, right? So 
that's good. And that's it for the major rooms. Bedrooms, an enchanting room, and the crafting room. And of course I showed you the storage rooms because you only need to see one of them to see all of them. The storage rooms all look the same. Now, this last part is a neat little area. It sort of mimics a nether portal, except the nether portal's not active. It's just glass. See? The nether portal's not active, it's just glass. So it sort of looks like a nether portal, but it's not. It's glass. And then, of course, there's a neat little bookshelf arrangement with carpet and some lanterns on this side of it. Same deal over here. Same exact deal over here. Bookshelves, carpets, lanterns. And, of course, glass. Don't forget the glass. Very important, the glass. And I thought it was a nice touch. So I put some carpet surrounding this center area to make it seem more interesting. And also to light this big base up, I hung lanterns from the ceiling. See all these lanterns? And of course, the center area needed a center piece. So, more inspiration here. Remember, as I said earlier in the video, I took inspiration from a cool concept I saw on the internet. Shout out to whoever came up with the idea. It's a cool idea. This is my version of it. Like I said earlier, shout out to whoever came up with the idea. It's a cool idea. This is my version of it. This helps light up the center area. And of course, don't forget, there's an up top. Yep, an up top. But there's nothing really up here. I mean, except for this glass right here in the center. You can kind of see in. And the stairs. Oh, and a bunch of lanterns. Oh yeah, and I forgot about these little decorative things over here in the center. Marking the corners of this box. I thought it would be neat to have a decoration there. But anyway. Thought it would be neat to show you all the base. Let you all see me and my friend's base. Thought it would be neat to show you all the base. Let you see me and my friend's base. But that is where I will end this video. See you in the next one.